Hello everyone, this is LB3 and I am back again with another draft video. This video is part of a series where I'll take a look at the top matchups between draft prospects and college football week by week. In this video we'll be taking a look at the matchups between draft prospects and week 8 of the 2019 college football season. This will be a weekly series so if you think there's someone I missed let me know in the comments and if there's someone specific you'd like to see next week also put that in the comments. Alright everyone, it is time for the first matchup, and we're actually going to be talking about the guys on both ends of this matchup, but first we'll start with Washington quarterback Jacob Eason. Eason is the prototypical quarterback with the large frame and the big arm, but he has struggled mightily when going up against any sort of decent competition, with his only successes coming out outside of the Power 5 conferences. The CQ will be taking on a talented Oregon defense, and he really needs to start changing the narrative and building some momentum if he wants to come out for this draft. With his potential and clear flaws though, it may be best for him to return for a year, but if he doesn't want to do that, he's going to have to start playing better against the best teams that he will be facing. Easton has all of the intangibles, but with it being clear growth is needed, and this being a talented quarterback class, at the top, his best bet may be returning to school and performing and growing for another year. After that, let's not build up too much tension and instead just go directly into the other side of this matchup, which is of course Justin Herbert versus the Washington defense. Herbert has had a much better year than his 2018 season, but there's still clear room for improvement. With a tough matchup against a talented Washington team, the Oregon coaches may want to keep Herbert on a leash with the conservative game plan like they did against Auburn. However, that didn't work there, and here there's no reason to try and hold back a quarterback as talented as Auburn, Herbert. Herbert has, throughout his career, performed best when the coaching staff opens up the offense and the playbook and allows Herbert to slay it. Herbert will also be without one of his top targets, with tight end Jacob Breland out for the remainder of the year, so it'll be interesting to see how he deals with that as well. This is a great battle of future NFL quarterbacks, one who will almost certainly be a first-round pick, and one with the potential to be one, so it's one for draft uh, fans to watch for sure. For the third matchup, we are taking a look at a player who has been rising in the eyes of some NFL evaluators we talked about back in the video for week one. That is Louisville offensive tackle Mecky Becton. As we talked about, Becton is a mammoth of a man who slimmed down the offseason to try and work on his technique and lateral agility. Becton is showing good strides, even in a talented offensive tackle class, he's definitely a riser. Guys who are as big as Becton who can move even as well as he can are rare, so seeing growth from Becton is exactly what we wanted as it shows that he can grow and can continue to grow, do so when he gets to the NFL and has NFL coaching. This week he has a matchup against that very talented Clemson pass rush and he will certainly start to get more national notice with a standout game against them. The fourth matchup we're taking a look at is a player who we have talked about before but who didn't really shine the matchup we highlighted him for last time although we can hardly blame him as he was facing the top round defense in the country. We're talking about N.O. Benjamin, the Arizona State running back, who is now going to face facing off against Utah, who has a lot of defensive talent, but especially one of the better nose tackles in the coming draft class in the massive 6'5", 340-pound Lecky Fotu. So obviously this is a two-sided watch where we want to see who is winning this battle. Benjamin is a bit of a powerful plotter, power back, not only a break it outside kind of guy, so the two should face off plenty, and it will be exciting seeing if Benjamin is able to push a pile that Fotu is part of, or if Benjamin will be met at the line and stop more often than not. Benjamin is an up and down player, so it would be nice to see him perform well against the guy who's going to be playing in the NFL. The fifth and final matchup we will be taking a look at is the only player that we have not highlighted in another video before this one, and it is Penn State Edge Yutur Gross Matos. He will be going up against a solid line at Michigan with a couple of potential NFL prospects, even if it doesn't have any studs. Gross Matos to me is a bit of a mixed bag as a player and a bit divisive among scouts it seems. But luckily for him, he's a player that has a lot of potential with his nice frame and length. And he still has a lot of time left to prove that he's a player that can be a top 10 draft pick or a top first round draft pick. Along with the fact that he's putting up good numbers with 5 sacks and 5 games so far this year and 8 tackles for loss. Gristow still has other matchups left worth keeping an eye on, but this is a good first step for him to continue his growth in the eyes of NFL scouts. It will also be a good test for the athleticism of the Michigan offensive tackles with Gristow's slender frame and occasional flashes of great get-off and burst. So this is a good watch for both sides of the ball. Alright, those are the top 5 matchups that I'll be keeping an eye on in Week 8 of college football. If I missed a good matchup, don't hesitate to comment it, and I will be sure to check it out. I will be doing these videos weekly throughout the season, so if there are any matchups you definitely want me to highlight in Week 9, don't hesitate to comment those either. 
I always love to hear feedback and have some good draft conversations. If you like this video, then definitely subscribe as I will have a lot more draft content coming to this channel throughout the college football season, and then after that, all the way up until the draft. This has been LB3. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. Peace.